to the twist and flatline my mind so I can be reborn again. What else be the way? So my new vessel won't upset. This world is closing. Global corrosion is eating everyone alive except for the most high. So show me. St. John 14, 15, and 16. We'll continue on this. I want to go into St. John the 15th chapter and all that we say and do today will be by Hashem of Mashiach Yahushai for our edification. It says, St. John 15 to 1, it says, I am the true vine, talking about a Mashiach Yahushai, speaking the words. It says, and my father is the husbandman. Husbandman, meaning, you know, it's giving analysis of him being the vine, the most high husbandman is the farmer. You know, it says, every branch in me that beareth not fruit he taketh away. And every branch that bear fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So, it says every branch in me, every branch that's in my Shiach Yahweh Shai, which belong to him, it says that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. If you're not bearing any fruit, he gonna take, he gonna get rid of you. He's telling you. It says, and every branch that bear fruit, he purchases it. Meaning you're going to be dipped in a fiery furnace of affliction. You're going to be cleaned up. It says, he purchases it that it may bring forth more fruit. That you can bring forth more fruit. More works. It says, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. So he says, we clean through the words that he's spoken unto us. Look at Ephesians 5 and 26. St. John 17, 17 says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is true. So look at Ephesians 5, 26. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. By the word. So looking at uh, another example is, is um, 1 Peter's 1 and 22. It says, seeing ye have purified, meaning cleansed, your spirits in obeying the truth through the spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren love of the brethren for showing that you've been cleaned up it says 
See that ye love one another with a pure heart, fervently. Just letting you know, you know. So he given us, he given us the examples of what we have to do to be righteous in the eyes of the Most High. Because a lot of you can think you are righteous in your own eyes. Don't mean that you're righteous. It says we we definitely have to uh, look at what he's saying, telling us here, so that we can be on point with him. To be in the spirit with the Most High, to be in the spirit with the Mashiach Yahweh Shai. The only way you're going to be in the spirit with the Most High is to follow what he's saying. These examples that he's given us. Going back to St. John 15, it says, verse 4, it says, Abide in me. He said, Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. He says, You can bring forth on your own. Oh, your breast cannot bear fruit of itself except to abide in the vine. So you can't, you can't bring forth anyone to a Masiak Yawashai unless you yourself abide in this black man whose feet look like they burn in the furnace, brass, fine brass of a burn in the furnace, and his hair of wool. First, you got to accept that, you know. He said, except to abide in the vine. Except you abide in the vine. Who is the vine? He says, I am the vine, the true vine. He is the true vine. So if you abide in him, it says you can't bring forth fruit unless you have a relationship with him. He's letting you know. It says, except ye abide in me. It said we abide in him. It says, verse 5, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He's the vine, we are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. He said without him, we can do nothing. So we ought to, we ought to give the glory to him going to the Father on our behalf, that the Most High could be glorified in the Son. He said, without Him, we could do nothing. So I would give all praise and glory to the Most High, by the Mashiach Yavashat for sinning, a Mashiach Yavashat to give us these words of truth. Verse 6, it says, if a man abide not in me, someone that don't abide in the Mashiach Yavashat, like some of you out there don't, you know, some of you believe in that, that uh, image that they set up of Caesar Boy's year, you know? The second son of Pope Alexander the Sixth of Rome, that white image that they set up to represent uh, Amasiak Yahushai with a world falsely called Jesus Christ, because the J was invented in 1630 A.D., not 333, excuse me, 33 A.D., when he approximately uh, died and rose and went to the right hand side of the Father. You know that J is just invented. That's why the 16, original 1611 Bible, it's King James Bible, don't have any J's in it. You know this is a revived version that we read here. When well, it came up with these names, it says, verse 6, If ye abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. So if you don't abide in the Mashiach, you're going to be cast forth as a branch that is withered. You know, like dried up branch that they take, and they burn them. That's what he said, you're going to be burned in this hell fire that's coming on this earth. If you don't abide in the Mashiach, you shot. Say, if ye abide in me, verse 7, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So you shall ask what you will. If you develop this relationship with the Mashiach, you shot, the only begotten Son of the Most High, it says, you shall ask what you will, and it shall be done unto you. It says, here it is my Father glorified, that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples, he said. If you bear much fruit, he said, you're going to be his disciples. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love, he said. He said, if ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. He said, once again, like he told us in St. John 14 and 15, he said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. He keeps saying it over again, verse 21. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and, my, and will manifest myself to him. So once again he said, over and over again, most I speak once, yea, twice, man, perceive it not. Once again, verse 10, it says, If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, verse 11 of St. John, the 15th chapter. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might 
remain in you and that your joy might be full. See, we follow what he's saying. He said, going to give us this joy. He said, these things have I spoken to you that my joy might remain in you and that your joy might be full. So this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. So greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. No greater love than a man to lay down his life for his friends, as he done for us. It says, ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. See, that's how you become his friend. If you do whatsoever he says, his orders, his follow his laws, that's the commandments. Moral laws, civil laws, dietary laws, and ceremonial laws. As a law, they say you're not under the law. You're not under the law of sacrifice. That's the law that's been done away with because he is the only, the only lamb of the most high that came here and died on the tree fashion shape of a cross for the atonement of our sins. Verse 14 again. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command you. Say, henceforth I call you. You not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends. He said he called them friends. For all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. So the things that he heard of the father, he made known to the disciples. Like they're making it known to us now through the Holy Spirit. It says, verse 16, ye have not chosen me. He said, you ain't chose me, but I have chosen you. And ordain you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, by Shabbat Mashiach, in the name of the Lord and Savior, he may give it you. He may give it you, whatever you're going to ask in his name. He's going to give it you. That's the power that you have, the spiritual power that you have in his name. If you operate in his name, develop a relationship with him, that the things that you ask, you shall receive. It is come, it is done. Just like that, miracle after miracle after miracle after miracle, because you believe in him. You're justified in your faith in the Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah, the anointed Savior. It says, verse 17, these things I command you that you love one another. If the world hates you, he's coming back to the hate now. It says, if the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Think about it. It says, the world hated him before it hated you. If you're of the world, the world would love its own, but because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, you know, the, the things that are wicked in this world, coming back to righteousness by following this law, that's commandments, being justified in the faith in the Mashiach, that was shot. Therefore, the world hated you. So the world gonna hate you for trying to be righteous because the world is wicked. It says, remember the word that I said unto you. So remember the words that I'm telling you. It says, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. So a lot of you in this church, in the churches, you going to church and you think you're a Christian and so forth. It says, hey, just what he said. Say, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. So a lot of you out there are not getting persecuted. What you getting persecuted for? You know, the things that you're dealing with are concerning this word or is it something else that you're doing that every, the whole world realizes that it's wicked? You're not being persecuted for bringing forth the word of this Bible. So you're not none of his disciples. He says, verse 20, remember the word that I had said unto you, that the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, he said, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will keep yours also, because what sayings are you supposed to be coming forth with? The exact words that he's saying here. It says, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because you representing his power, rules, and authority that's coming back on this earth when he was on the earth in the beginning, to coming on the earth many times that he's been on this earth, to the time he came in the flesh, to the time that he's coming back. You know, he's sitting in his Holy Spirit giving us knowledge, rules, and understanding to, uh, to this day in his name. In the name of the anointed Savior, it says, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake. So if they persecute you, it will be for the name of the anointed Savior. He said, be, uh, according to this Bible, according to the truth of this Bible, because they know not him that sent me, because they don't know the Most High. They don't know the Heavenly Father. A lot of you out there don't know the Most High. That's why he's saying what he's saying. So if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. They can't cover up their sin. He'd have told them you're wrong. 
He was, why, why do you think they was all the time coming up against them? Because they were doing the wrong things according to the law. You know, saying the law, but they were operating in the wrong spirit. And he was cut over and over again. It says, he that hated me, hated my father also. So all of you out there that hate him, I see how y'all shot. You don't want to accept him as who he is with hair and wool and feet like a fire brass and a bird in the furnace as it tells us in Revelation 1, 13 of 15. It says, you hate him, you hate the father also. It says, if I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin. But now, have they both seen and hated both me and my father. Let you know that when he was on this earth, they hated him and his father, the most high. But this cometh to pass that the word which might be fulfilled that is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. Let's look at this, because it's very important that we see. A lot of you don't realize how they feel about him. Isaiah 63rd chapter talks about a Mashiach that was shot. And it tells you how, I'm sorry, the 50 uh, that goes into his, his judgment. Isaiah the 53rd chapter. And we're going to look at verse 3. It says, He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not. Hear that? I'll read you again. A lot of you need to hear this again. Isaiah 53 and 3. He is despised and rejected of men, of men of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. They hid their face from him. They see him, this big black man coming with the whites of his eyes red it says he was despised so i said they hated him he was despised and we esteemed him not so surely he have borne our griefs and carried our sorrows yet we did esteem him stricken of smitten smitten of the most high and afflicted but he was wounded for our transgressions he was bruised for our iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed, meaning atonement for our sins, for the things that he went through. All we like sheep, the twelve tribes of Israel, the lost sheep of the house of Israel, have gone astray. We have turned every one to his own way. He said he is the way, but most of you have turned into your own way of sin. And the most high, while Mashiach Yavashai, or Allah have laid on him the iniquity of us all. Hear that? The Most High laid on him all the iniquity for the twelve tribes of Israel. So he was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He didn't say anything. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter. He's the lamb of the Most High brought to the slaughter. And as a sheep before her shears is dumb, so he opened not his mouth. He didn't open his mouth. He didn't complain. He went through that conflicted that the Most High said he had to come here and die for us. And people say, oh, now that's a lot of mercy and grace. And you say that very lightly. You don't even talk about the things that he went through, what we read about here. And it's deeper than this for what they've done to him before he actually gave up the ghost. It says, he was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living, meaning he was cut out of Israel. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. For the transgression, the wickedness, and the sins of the children of Israel. Those are the children of the Most High. Was he stricken? And, and he made his grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death, because he had done no violence, neither was any deceit in his mouth. And excuse me, he didn't know he had no ill feelings and no deceit coming from his words that came from him. It says, Yet it pleased the most high to bruise him. Yeah, that, that pleased the most high to bruise him for us. He had put him to grief when thou shalt make his spirit an offering for sin. An offering for sin was given to the children of Israel when we read Acts the fifth chapter. And we'll start at the 29th verse. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the most high rather than men. It's like we're going to obey the most high in his word rather than any man. It says, 
the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom ye slew and hanged on a tree. Yeah, wicked Israelites. They wanted to get rid of them. They were afraid of losing their power with the Romans, who are the so-called Italian Caucasians, and the power that they had over the Israelites at that time. It says in verse 30, it says, the power of our fathers raised up Yahweh Shai, whom he slew and hanged on the tree. Yeah, he raised him up on the third day. He walked the earth for 40 days before he ascended back to the right-hand side of the Father. Yes, praise the Most High. It says, verse 31 says, Him who is Mashiach Yahweh Shai hath the Most High exalted with his right hand to be a prince and a savior for to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. It's clear. So, when the Most High said his seed and his people, he said he, gave, he came to give repentance to Israel. That's why Matthew 15 and 24 says, clear. Matthew the 15th chapter, the 24th verse. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but meaning only unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what he said. So when we start to understand these things, then we get more understanding of the spirit of the Most High, because a lot of you, you know, John the Baptist, he came to baptize with the spirit of repentance. That's what he baptized for. He baptized, came to baptize the spirit of repentance. That's why it says in St. John 6 and 63, dipping you into a sign, dipping you into the water, bringing you up until you repent, confess your sins. You know, a lot of you ain't confessed those sins. You got baptized, you continue to do the same old wicked things. St. John, that's why you cleaned up by the word, following the word and change and become a new creature. St. John 6, 63 says, it is the spirit that quickens it. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, which is through the spirit or through the Holy Spirit, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The words that he spoke to us and speaking to us today, they are spirit that leads to eternal life. That's what this is all about. How do I reach eternal life? By following his laws and commandments and being justified by your faith in Mashiach Yahushua. He's the only way. He's the way. So, like I said, this is my last show here in Long Beach. And I've had many years, over 10 years, I've been on the air here. And I've enjoyed, you know, bringing forth the truth. And I say you can be edified more if you go to www.youtube.com forward slash shield of wisdom. Once again, that's www.youtube.com forward slash Shield of Wisdom, just like the name of the show. And you can still be edified with the truth, because the truth is going to continue to go forward. And if you don't go there, you can go to same, same with uh, MySpace, Black Planet, uh, and many more sites that's going to be available for you to go. Once you go to one site, it'll be able to lead you to the other sites. So, and if that don't work, they shut down the internet, we're going to have the most likely open up other zones for us to be able to continue this truth. You can't, you can't do nothing against the truth, you have to do something for the truth. So, I hope you enjoy this edition of Children's Wisdom, where I'm bringing you nothing but the truth. I hope you continue to be edified and search the scriptures for in them you're going to think that you have everlasting life, but you got to come back to the word of the most high and be taught the truth. And you can reach me, Priest Dawam at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California. That's 908-01-3012. Or call me at 562-426-3084. Once again, that's 562-426-3084. And if, remember to continue to pray. And I'll be praying for all of us that we'll make it, you know. And I hope that you'll come into this, this kingdom that's prepared for you. Because it's very important that you see the light. You know, you see on the marquee, you know, just continue to to strive for this truth. You know, and that's like I said, you can reach me. I'll be available. Just call the number. I'm always available. So if you go, if you look at, uh, do your word, and you look at St. John, I want to continue because it's important that we look at uh, all that we can see here before we depart. Look at uh, St. John 16, and I'm going to start at uh, verse 7. It says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient. I mean, it's fast for you 
that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, will not come unto you. But I, but if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the world. When the, when the Holy Spirit comes in a man, he's going to reprove the world of sin, all the transgression of the Most High's laws, and of righteousness, and of judgment. It says, of sin, because they believe not on me. Of sin, because you don't believe in a Mashiach Yavashai. You know, when he walked to earth in the flesh. You know, 1 John 4, 1 says, Try the Spirit by the Spirit, we're not there on the Most High. Every Spirit that confesses that Amashiach Yahweh Shai is coming to flesh is not the Most High. Every Spirit that confesses not that he coming to flesh is not the Most High. But it's that spirit of anti-Mashiach. You are against him if you don't accept him coming on this earth. As his feet look like the fine brass of the burning in the furnace. A black man. It says, uh, verse 8, And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin and of righteousness and of judgment. Of sin because he, they believe not on me. It said, of righteousness because I go to my Father and ye see me no more. It said, of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. Yeah, he's going to be judged. Don't to the lake of fire. It says, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. So that's why he sent the Holy Spirit to tell us now. And these days, says, how be it when he, the spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit, is come, he will guide you into all truths. Says, for he shall not speak of himself. So the Holy Spirit of the Comforter is not going to talk of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He shall glorify me. So the Holy Spirit will glorify my Shiach Yahweh Shai. For he shall receive a mind and shall show it unto you. All things that the Father hath of mine. Therefore said I that he shall take of mine and shall show it unto you. A little while and ye shall not see me. And again a little while and ye shall see me. Because I go to my Father. He go to the Father, the Most High Power. So, that's a little bit all that I can get in uh, St. John 16. But we'll continue. The work is not through. We're going to continue it to the end. Say, so he that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. So, you can reach me once again, Freestyle Wild at P.O. Box 20012, Long Beach, California, 90801. That's 3012. Or call me at 562 426 3084. Once again, that's 562 426 3084. And with that, I love you. Continue to watch and pray. And I'm out. Shalom. Wisdom. 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 Flatline my mind so I can be reborn again. What else be in your way? So my new vessel wanna sit. This for the soul, global corrosion is eating everyone alive, except for the most high the chosen people. And ain't no sequel in the end time. The Hebrew Israelites hit your rock your enzymes. Let me need find my mind. It's not that complicated. He that has an engine here is meant to will be elevated. Simply say that I was intoxicated and irritated by the old me until I was emancipated. The shield of wisdom helps the first of the schism within the body. Cause human nature told me to be naughty and hearty. The person who can rent has got to be diseased. But I got spiritual education so my soul can be at ease. We got the shield, we got the helmet, and the sword. We got to kill that old man so we can kick it with the Lord. Brother, brother, can't you see? What's the truth? Chapter 2.